Welcome to the Meadows Investment Forum. It's my great pleasure to have Sarah DePasco here. Welcome, Guy. Hi, Chen. Thank you for inviting me. Well, it's quite a long journey in the past few years. And then, I, you know, I congratulate you to go through all the difficult time. And look like you got a Peru president signature. You're right, you're drilling right now. Yeah. Well, Chen, I've been around with you for two, three years. And I told you we got all the permitting. We got the impact and environmental study approved. We got the permit from Minister of Energy and Mine to leave us go and do those drilling, but we didn't have act, the access right. I've mentioned many times there was Activos Mineros that has a mandate to close or or not to close, but to take care of the acid water. And we got on the other side, the irrevocable mineral rights on that tailing. So there was two things that were going opposite. So obviously this had to go forward. I mentioned to you many times, uh, all the winning condition. We're going to create the well back in Cerro de Pasco. We're going to take care of the acid water. In 25 years, there's no more acid water. We're going to sign a big income tax check to the, uh, to the government, and it's going to be very beneficial for our, our shareholder. So we got the force easement signed by the president of the country last May. So we're presently drilling. All right, all right. So it's the first time in the history that you're drilling to in in that uh, throughout, right? Not the, not the surface, all the way. The, how deep is this? How, it's like we've got it from uh, 20 meters right until up to 60 meters. 20 to 60 yeah, meters. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're performing those holes right now. It's soft. It's it's a, it's difficult, but we we have three drills on site right now. Okay. So we're going to transform that mineral resource into a 4301 resource. Okay, okay, great. So are you going to do some metallurgical study as well? In We're that? doing that at the same time, yes. Okay. So we okay. should produce a report by Q1 2025. Q1 2025. Yeah. So but, but the good thing for a shareholder is when you see our PowerPoint presentation, uh, I present there, you see some estimated uh, cash flow we're going to make. They're big numbers, okay? So just on results of the first drill holes, okay? People take those results and they go in the book. Compare, yeah. Well, it looks the same. That means the cash flow should be there. So the second hole will be announced. It's going to be excitement again. So we will not need until we we publish a final report, but every holes will be exciting. All right, excellent. And then it could be better than, <laughs> than what yeah, you have. It could, I, it could be better. I explained to you, uh, it's uh, people asking why they recover so poor uh, when they process that from yeah. during the 20th century. It's just the flotation time was only 24 hours. And in 24 hours, you recover 60%. Yeah, you can mine, go up so to rich. Yeah. eighty-seven percent, but you need seventy-two hours. But at the time, they were not doing it, because in twenty-four hours, they could get sixty percent, and yeah. they were twenty thousand ton every day. Right, right, yeah. They just continue mining at that time. They just it's just not worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, excellent. Uh, do they? I mean, that's uh, the copper recovery. Only copper. Did they recover any gold or other? Materials? No, no. At the time, the it was it started to be a gold, copper, silver mine. Okay. Underground operation. Okay. And then it turned out more to be a lead, zinc, okay. silver, silver mine. Eventually, it right. Overlaps in okay. the overlaps. Uh, yeah. So you have a you you can you have a two type of different tailings, right? You have the silvers on top, and then when you go deeper and deeper, it's, it's better. Right? You have the historical yeah. copper. You hit well, the copper at, and gold. At the bottom is going to be mainly copper, silver, and gold. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's good. Very exciting. We will see. We'll compare that to, to the historical number. Are there any other metals you're looking at potentially? So we, we know, we know from the auger we did, and uh, we know when you check the flow sheet of La Oroya, this was the refinery when they were operating the Cerro de Pasco uh, mine. You check the flow sheet, they were producing a lead, zinc, and copper concentrate. But at the end, they were recovering all those metals, cadmium, indium, tellurium, gallium, so uh, germanium. 
So all those metals are in also. Okay. okay? So we okay. might have big surprise there. Big surprise. Big surprise. Yeah, nobody, that's we'll see the drill results. Yeah. Imagine 1906, nobody were really taking care of those critical metals. Imagine right. how strategic they are today. Right, right. If right. we can add this to that silver uh, and gold resource, and copper, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would be amazing. Yeah. It's especially when, when you're talking about critical metal, you can potentially get a funding from the United States government to, yeah, to yeah, do that. Absolutely. You don't need to dilute the shareholding. Yeah. So the the uh, the drilling we're doing, we're assaying for everything at the moment. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Well, sounds good. And then recently, you just announced a big deal to uh, basically offload Santander. And there's, you know, we talk about that, that the press release has been quite vague. There's yeah. a lot of questions from yeah. Shifu. What extent can you tell us? And then for that, how important that deal is and yeah. to benefit shareholders. Yeah, when we acquired the mine, Chen, this was a good mine. Zinc was at $3,200. Mm -hmm. and But today, nobody can survive. No zinc producer can survive with zinc below 3000 So this is what happened to us. We accumulated those payables. We were at some point to sell uh, uh, part of the mine to the against those payables, right. but uh, now we found a, a fund, and uh, we now that we have settled the Pasco by itself, it's our flagship project. Santander was becoming a distraction. Okay, okay? and uh, so yeah, we got rid. If you check the next uh, financial statement, it's going to be a clean one. So clean one. So basically, so that. The on the book, it's two dollar, but actually, they got they took over all the comparable. Exactly, exactly. And um, we still have some interco to settle, but we don't have to settle those interco before five years. And at that point, we also are are going to be receiving a royal, royalty okay, from them. Well. Okay, okay. So. so it's a really it's, it was a it's a coup. This was a coup. <laughs> good, good, excellent. It's so, like the second coup of the year. We also <laughs> made another coup. We got now Eric Sprott in the house. That was a yeah. That was that's great. a great move, Eric Sprott. Apparently, he love he love you. He's buying from the open market. As we I just check and you and check the insider report. Yeah, he's yeah. quite aggressive. He likes silver. Like there's like in the presentation, there's 465 million ounces of silver equivalent, but there's one on the 110 million ounce of pure silver, pure silver yeah. and this is just in the tailings in the tail. you got right beside 104 million ton stockpile stockpile okay. right. so yeah you you eventually you're going to process both and yep. get all the silver as well as other metals out so uh, also let me ask you you're t you're, you're drilling the, the the tailing right so we will have a results of all the different metals have you done any tests on those uh, stockpile at all? There was a 43101 written at the time on the stockpile. And, uh, but uh, we, we prefer to start on the tailings for one reason. We know what it's there. Okay. okay. I, in my presentation, I show you, we did the compilation from what the, the, they have processed it from 1906 until 1992, what they had recovered. So two minus one equal one. <laughs> we know precisely. So, was the so there's head. less information on the stockpile, but this will come probably when we start uh, reprocessing uh, the tailing. We're going to attack the exploration on the stockpile at that time. Okay, okay, great. Excellent, especially with your Aerospross support in mean, this company in very good shape. So uh, tell us when do you going to release the drilling results and then what uh, sequence, what the investor should they expect for the next few months? So probably, you're probably the 10% to ask me that today. <laughs> so the results should come sometime depending on the lab uh, uh, end of October, end mid October, of, end of October. Mid end of October, okay. okay. Okay, so that's the first batch, right? So do you uh, you have so a more? So we'll release them one after the other. One after the other. Yeah, so yeah, let's see. We so we, we will have that till next year, early next year, or sooner? well, we by we have to finish drilling by the end of October. End of okay, October. It's our, it's it's dry right now. Okay. And it's it's dry dry season, but it's wet. Okay. Okay, and it's starting to rain in the end of October.
October. So we need to finish that by the end of October. That's why we got three drills on site. Okay. And we're going to, over the end of the year, until the end of the year, we're going to publish those results. Okay, until the end of the year. Then after that, you have the PEA coming? That, I don't know if it's going to be a PEA, okay, because it's a PEA kind of with 40 holes. We would like to do probably 200 more holes okay. so to get the solid PEA. Okay. But there will be a resource calculation. Resource calculation. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Great. Thank you. Well, looking forward to the result. Finally, we're there. Congratulations yeah, yeah, for the yeah. hard work. Yeah. Well, if you persevere in that business, it always works. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. Thank Good you, luck. Jen. Thank you.